Rather than navigating through Notion to find and manage your to-do list, SyncTask is an iOS app that offers a simpler solution. It's basically a minimalist to-do app that comes with Notion integration. This means you can connect your task database from Notion and manage your to-dos in a streamlined, dedicated app. First, open the App Store and search for SyncTask and download the app. To integrate with Notion, first open Notion and navigate to the database that you want to connect. I'll open my second brain page and look for my task database. Then I'll tap on the view name, click on the three dots of any view, and click on open source database. This is the database I want to connect to SyncTask. Because you might have databases with similar names, you can temporarily change the name of this database to something more unique. I'll add the word sync in front of the database name and go back to the SyncTask app. Now I'll click on the connect to Notion button, and I'll skip the instructions here since I'm going to show it live to you right now. After that, you'll be redirected to a device browser where you'll be prompted to sign into Notion and just make sure you have the right workspace selected and click on Next. On the next page is where you have the option to use a template provided by the app or use an existing database of yours which is what we are going to go with. And on to the next page is where we start selecting the pages that we want to connect. Here, I will search for my task database which I renamed to Sync Task earlier. And the one at the top is the one that I'm looking for and I will just tap on it to edit. Then click Allow Access where you'll be prompted to return to the app. Once you're back in the app, you should see all the databases that you have selected. From here, select one of the databases that you want to set up first. On the next page is where you can choose a name and icon for how you want this list of tasks to appear in the app. Below is where you can map the properties like name, status, and date. For my case, I will configure the next action status to be my to-do status. Once you make sure everything matches how you like it, you can click on Done and then Confirm. Opening this task list, you can see how the tasks are synced from Notion. And since we are back in Notion, I'll rename the database to how it was previously. And this is how you connect a Notion database to the SyncTask app, which we hope provides a more focused experience when it comes to managing your to-dos. Changes you make, like checking off a task, will be reflected in Notion in just a few moments. Next, let's talk about connecting a new database. So if you tap on the plus icon here, you can see the option to add more databases as your to-do list. But you can see because we only selected one database when we were doing the setup, nothing more than that appears here. So I'm going to show you what you can do if you want to connect another database from the same workspace. So let's first go back to Notion and go to the database that you want to add. Then we'll click on the three dots on the top right corner and scroll all the way down till we see connections. Tap on it and you should be able to search for sync tasks if you have already connected at least one database before. And just click confirm here and it's connected. We can close this up and head back to the sync task app. So now if you click on the plus icon and then add database, you should be able to see the database that you have added. So if you don't see it yet, you can click on the refresh icon to let it reload. And there we go, we have our groceries database here that is ready for us to set up. So again, when we go on to the next page, we have the option to map to the right properties before we can click on done and then confirm. So just like that, we have added another database from Notion to SyncTask. And I hope this goes to show how SyncTask is also a nice way to consolidate all your to-dos whether that's from your personal or work and even your grocery list like the one that we have set up. And you can see if I assign a date to the items here like those that I want to purchase today, I can go back to my today view and I can see items from both my task database as well as my groceries database. And for a clearer organization, you can also go on to the view settings to add a grouping for the folder. So this can help if you want to better know where a to-do item is from. Next, let's talk about offline mode. Offline mode for Notion is something that I'm sure many Notion users are waiting for. As we wait for that to come to Notion, SyncTask actually supports that for your task. So let's turn off the Wi-Fi and cellular data on my device now, and I'll go ahead and click on the plus icon to add a new task. So when you're not connected to the internet, new tasks created will show up with this little no Wi-Fi icon. So if I go ahead and turn back on the Wi-Fi on my device, I can pull down to force it to refresh, and then it will sync to my Notion. And you can see how the no Wi-Fi icon disappeared. So jumping back into Notion and navigating to my task database, we can see that the task we created earlier when we were offline has now appeared in Notion. So yeah, sync task helps you jot the tasks and to-dos that you need to get done without worrying whether you're connected to the internet. Moving on, we're going to go out of the app to talk about the home screen widget. To add a new widget, 
we'll first hold down anywhere on the home screen until we are in the edit mode and then I'll go over to an empty page and then click on the edit button. This will reveal an option to add widget. From here, we can search for sync tasks and then we can scroll to see all the widgets that is provided by the app. But the one that I'm showing today will be this first widget that I'm personally a fan of, which basically blends your to-do list with the home background. With the upcoming release of the iOS 26, this trick to blend the widget with the background might not be able to work then. For those who are still on iOS 18, let's go ahead and tap on the widget to set it up. Then, we'll tap on the folder field here to choose which list we want to show. Once done, we can click on the done button on the top right to exit the editing mode. And this is how I achieve this plain simple list of to-dos right on the front of my home screen. And you can simply tap on any item on the list to check it off. So this effect, like I said, requires a matching color background with the widget background. So let me show you where to download this specific wallpaper from the app. So inside the app, we'll head to the settings page. In there, we should see an option called wallpapers. So on the wallpapers page, you should see an option for the dark and light wallpaper with a save button. What I personally do is that I have the dark wallpaper set up or the lock screen and home screen that I use for my sleep mode. For now, I will mainly go into dark mode. Unlocking my phone, you can see how the to-do list widget from SyncTask still blends nicely with the dark background, as the widget responds automatically to the device light and dark appearance. Whether you like your device in light mode or dark mode, you can still enjoy having your to-do list blended with your home background. And this is pretty much everything I wanted to show you all today. So SyncTask is primarily a free app with only home screen widgets requiring a one-time payment. The core features along with Notion integration, Apple Reminders integration, early reminders, recurring tasks and more are all free to use. Plus there's a 7 day free trial when you first download the app so you can try out all the widgets if you like them. So yeah, I love for you all to give SyncTask a try and I hope it makes managing your to-dos much easier. Thanks for watching and see you soon.